guys, it's Bertie here. Hey, I'm out in the art studio this morning and um, I've been making these cute little snow women that you uh, make them out of salt or pepper shakers. I saw it on Pinterest, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. And I made my first three and I'm going to show them to you and I thought um, I'm ready to make six more. So I thought I'd take you through the steps with me and you can see how I've been putting them together. So um, I'm going to show you my first three and then we'll get started on snowing some heads. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay guys, here they are, my little snow ladies. If you can see, they're on a salt or a pepper shaker and I put some little pearls inside. And then I use their little shaker hat, uh, shaker tops for their little hats. And I just embellished them. Those are styrofoam balls covered with, well, it's called snow, but I mix the snow with white paint and I um, spread it on and then I sprinkled this little clear glitter on it. I made their noses out of Fimu, I think it's called, or Sculpey, whatever, clay, baked it in my toaster oven, painted them orange, and glued those on, and used little seed beads for their mouths, and a little bit of a larger bead for their eye, and dusted their little cheeks with, um, oh, you know, those little chalk pastels that you use, and uh, just embellished with little fuzzy yarn and doodads, gizmos. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get my stuff ready and we will snow some heads. Okay, here we are. I'm going to tell you a little story about what happened. In the last little clip, I said, hey, I'll meet you and we'll snow some heads, right? Well, I did. I snowed some heads. I videotaped it. You and I had a really great time, although you don't know it because I hadn't downloaded it yet. So then I went on to this thing that I've got on my phone called Adobe Clip that I do all my editing on that I'm just learning about. And somehow I deleted the dang thing. So I'm going to snow another head, one more, to show you how. And then I will try to get all this edited and downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snow this head. And then I'm going to show you putting blush on my finished one. So it's, I'm, I'm going to be all bass backwards. I don't know if you guys have ever been like that before. But my mama should have named me Amy Bass Ackwards because that's what I am. So I got this bottle of snow from Hobby Lobby. No certain reason. It's just the jar of snow that I found. I put some in this bowl. And now I'm going to add some white paint. I better shake it first. Shake, 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 shake. I'm going to add some white paint because my cousin told me to. I don't even know the rhyme or reason or why, but she said to, so that's what I'm going to do all that mixed up. I stuck a little paintbrush in the head of my snowball, my styrofoam ball, so that when I'm done putting my uh, snow on it, I can stick it in this bottle and let it dry. This is just one of the salt shaker bottles that I have. And I have a little bowl of glitter here that I'm going to sprinkle all over it while it's still wet. And then that way it'll dry with the glitter on it. I should probably be using a paintbrush. That's what I used for the other ones, but good grief. Why would we do things correctly? I have a spatula in my hand. I wonder if I could dip it like a caramel apple. You kind of have to... Um, squish the snow down in that styrofoam because it wants to kind of the air bubbles kind of want to come through from the styrofoam so you got to kind of work it you'll see I mean good grief this is the first time I've done this I'm just figuring it out as I go along this darn little brush isn't wanting to turn very well it's 
kind of cool. I wish I would have done this the other times. I've made six of them. Okay. wonder where my little hole is. Let's just make another one. Oh my gosh, you guys. How zippity doodah was that? Okay, so I have his little head done, her head. These are women. I'm going to roll it around in this dust, in this adorable little glitter. This is just my spill off from the last ones I did. I'm just trying to use it up. Boy, the kids would love this, wouldn't they? All this messiness. My grandkids would. They love to make a mess out in the art room with Gigi. They call me Gigi. Because I made them. When they were young, I was like, I am too young to be a grandma. I have got to be something cooler than a grandma. So at the time, I was obsessed with the TV show Gilmore Girls. I don't know if any of you liked Gilmore Girls back when it was on. So, I used to call it, I'm going to watch Gigi. G for Gilmore, G for girls. And I thought, hey, I had a friend in high school who called her grandma Gigi. So, I ought to have my grandkids call me that. So, Gigi it is. Okay, so, I'm going to set it down here in this little bottle and let it dry and then I will attach my little nose wherever it may be. So I'm going to sit that aside. I'm going to bring in my girls that I've already done and I forgot to put rouge on their little cheeks. So let's rouge them up real quick. I'm going to get a q-tip and my rouge. Okay, I'm using some little chalky things. Oh my gosh, look at that. I already have a Q-tip in the dang box. All right, so which one do I like? This one looks okay. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of this chalk on her cheeks like rouge and hope it sticks. And it does. Isn't she cute? What good is a woman with no rouge? It's kind of hard to see the other side of her head to see if I'm symmetrically correct. There. She look okay? She's probably got her cheeks on a little crooked, but that's all right. None of us are perfect. As long as her owner loves her. There, now this one I can see a little better. On each side of her little head. I'm just blowing the excess off. I hope it stays. You think I ought to dab a little bit of Mod Podge on top of it? Isn't she cute? They're all just adorable, I think. Here comes our big mama. I'm going to put this other next, I'm going to put this other color on her just for grins and giggles. Massaging her, giving her a little facial massage. There she goes. All right, on with our next video. I hope they're not all bass backwards and crazy. Wish me luck. I mean, I'm new at this. You guys know that. This is what my second video. So, hopefully, by the time I'm on my thousandth video, I'll be 
a pro like all of you other girls. I hope you guys were as crazy as this when you were first starting. Anyway, onward and upward. Guys, my next step are the noses, and I took this stuff called Sculpey. And it's uh, like a soft little clay. I guess girls make jewelry and stuff like that of it. I just molded these little noses, and I put them in my um, toaster oven. And now I'm going to paint them orange and let them dry for a little bit. I've got my heads stuck everywhere waiting for the snow and the glitter to dry. So I thought I'd go ahead and put a coat on these. It takes a couple coats sometimes. So I just tediously sit them out here. Let them dry. Go in, do some house cleaning or, you know, whatever you got. Come back. It's funny because you watch these videos and you watch them for 30 minutes and they've got a whole project done. And until you videoed one, you have no idea how long it actually took them. Sometimes it takes them a couple days because you're watching paint dry, you know, you're baking clay, and so yeah, it, it's an eye-opening experience to actually video one of these. I have great respect for you girls and guys out there that are doing this because you make it look so easy, and this is probably the hardest thing I've done. I have a wiener dog at the door wanting in, so I'm going to stop it here. Let these dry so I can touch them enough to paint their little tips. And I'll be back. Hi friends. I'm going to finish up my snow women today. It's been quite a few days. Um, you'll learn. I run a day late and a dollar short. That's how I roll. I'm just now finishing up my snow women. Yes, it's after Christmas. So guess what? I decided to make some of them not Christmas snow women. I'm going to do some pink and other colors. But anyway, the three I'm finishing up today, two of them I think are probably Christmas. And one of them I'm going to do like daisy looking. So uh, join me and let's finish up these bad boys, shall we? Bad girls. Okay. Hi, everybody. Let's finish up our snow women. These are my little snow ladies. I have their heads glued on. I have their noses painted and attached, and I wanted to show you those. Uh, I didn't want to do it on camera because it's such a slow, let it dry thing. So I've got one, two, three to finish up. So today I'm going to put their eyeballs on and their little mouths and I'm going to do that on video, and then we'll talk about how I'm going to decorate them, and then I will do that off screen and bring you back and show you what they look like at the end, okay? Um, I've got these little beads. I've got the larger ones for their eyeballs, and I did not have smaller black ones, so whatever color these little guys are, that's what color I'm using because I'm all about using what I have. Also, the last batch, I used some kind of white caulking because it worked really well with the snow. When it dried, you didn't even notice it. Uh, it dried up, so I have some of this Aileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. We're going to give it a whirl and see how it works this time. I just use whatever I've got. When it's gone, I'll think about getting something new. But my whole idea is to use up everything in this darn studio that I have hoarded and collected. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I have been so surprised at how many views and subscriptions I've got in just the past few days of being on. Really makes an old gal happy.
Looky there, she has eyeballs. Then I have this little hat back here drying. We'll doll it up and put it on her. No, things are not going to be perfect unless you have really steady hands and a good pair of tweezers, in, in which I have neither one of the two. I do want to tell you, my daughter watched my videos the other night. Well, she didn't even she didn't even watch one minute of one and said, "Oh my gosh, these are boring." I was expecting to laugh at any moment at you, mom, and I didn't even laugh. Well, because I'm not being my own crazy self because I was scared spitless. This is not as easy as it looks videoing yourself. I'm sure once I limber up, I will become my own kooky, red-hot mess again of the self. Today, I laid in bed this morning. I get up at 5.30, make my husband's lunch, making breakfast coffee, get him off to work. Yes, I do do that. I guess the way I understand it, I'm one of the few anymore. All of my friends think I'm crazy because I don't make him do it all himself, but good grief. He's supporting me and allowing me this opportunity to be able to stay home in the winter when I'm not working. Not allowing me, you know. He makes it available. Why wouldn't I take care of him? And besides, my mom did it for my dad. And I just grew up that that's what you did. I don't do it because I have to. I do it because I love him. See, look at that little girl smiling with all of her little beaded mouth. Isn't she cute? Okay, let's do another one. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Now that I've done one, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and do the rest, and I'll be back. You know what? I do need to come back because I didn't finish my story. I went off on a squirrel trail. I was laying in bed after I got my husband off to work, looking at YouTube, watching Shannon Green. She had come on because she's all anxiety ridden and needed to get some art out of her system and just vent. So for an hour, I laid in bed and watched Shannon vent about her anxiety. <laughs> oh my gosh, how crazy are we? She needed it, and I guess I needed to watch her. But she motivated me because I thought, you know what? Instead of going back to bed, I need to get my booty up and get out in the art room. And get something going. Because, you know what? I need to talk like that, too. And like she said on her video, sometimes you don't want to vent to one good friend. It's a lot easier to vent to a hundred people that you don't know. I don't have anything to vent about right now, but I do like to talk. So I came up, fired up my stove. I, ha I My uh, art room's out in a two-car garage. It's just got a little propane heater out here. Hello, everyone. I'm lady number two done. Won't you join me for three? And uh, so it takes quite a while for it to warm up. So I'm out here in my scarf and my sweatshirt and my hat and waiting for it to warm up. The the only thing about it is it heats the it heats the the room but it does not heat the floor. So my dang feet are frozen. I found this little heater that I could, electric heater that I could stick under my table to keep my feet warm, but it has a dang mud dauber nest in it, so I'm going to have to take it apart, take the mud dauber nest out another day. I'm not in the mood to do that today. 
I live in Kansas and it is stinking cold right now. It's supposed to warm up this weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. I went out and put a um, another heat light in the bird aviary out in the barn. I have house finches that I did not choose. One of my customers was an elderly lady and about a year before she passed away, she asked me if I would take him because she was forgetting to feed him. So, the ding dong that I am, I said yes. And I took two finches in and which clear and which quickly became nine. So, once I figured out that you got to start breaking their eggs, don't come find me, ASPCA, whatever you are, because you have to or else you will have a million finches. But until I figured out that you have to start breaking the eggs as soon as they lay them, I ended up with these nine finches. So I took them out in the barn and I built an aviary out there about 10 feet by 5 feet wide and I built an indoor um, bird cage for them and got it all insulated and put a heat light in there and I can keep it on about 55 degrees in there and today I decided it's so darn cold out I'd go add another heat light so I went out but you know they don't seem to mind they go out in the big area all the time instead of staying in where it's warm so but I do it for me for my own peace of mind I'm an absolute animal lover Hello, I'm lady number three coming to life right before your eyes. So, there we go. Now, now we're going to let these ladies dry. Oh my gosh, look. Our mouths are sagging already. That dang glue is a little runny. So I'm going to adjust everybody and dry them with the heat gun to get them scabbed over. And then I'll come back and we'll discuss how we're going to decorate them. Okay? All right, now, they're not quite dry yet, but I wanted to show you before I went on. This little lady here, I have got her eyes on and her mouth and her little hat, the shaker of the salt shaker. I put a little, it's a, like a Christmassy pipe cleaner around it. I stuck some through the holes and made a cute little hat decoration. So she's got her hat on, and now... I'm going to turn her into a cowgirl. This is going to be her scarf. I'm going to glue this cute little pendant on the front. And I'll show you all that when I'm done. This little lady here has some little rhinestone band around her hat. I'm going to find an old earring or something to put on top. She's going to get a green scarf. And I've got these little... I don't know what they are, but they were in my stash of stuff I've had from somewhere. It's like on a wire, so I'm going to somehow put that into her scarf, and I'm going to probably hang some dingle dangles on them also. Um, so that's going to go on her. This little lazy daisy lady here, see the little beads I put on her hat with some snow? I'm going to give her some of this funky yarnish stuff. I'm going to put this on the front of her with some orange ribbon. So I will come back and show you what I have done on that step. And then when they're completely dry, they should be done. Here we go. I'm going to hold these up. Not a very good view because of the way my camera sits. But this is my little cowgirl. Um, she's still wet and everything, but she's my little cowgirl. She's got a little red scarf on, little cowboy boots on her pendant. I don't know if that'll, see if that'll focus in there. She's got a little pendant on the front, got a little that little red thing hanging off of her scarf. I put a little 
earring on top of her hat. Aren't they cute? I just love them. I love everything teeny. This gal right here, she's all fuzzy, snuggle warm in her little scarf. I put several little tassels hanging down with a little uh, material daisy. Rhinestones and daisies on her hat. All this stuff I attached with this power grab by Loctite. This is my drug of choice. I make memory jugs. I made both my urn for when I pass away for my ashes to go in and my parents. I'll do a whole video of that on one day and show you what I did and how I did it. But this stuff here will, is the best thing I can find to make things stick to glass. The only problem is it's white. It used to come in clear and I absolutely loved it. But now the, they've stopped making the clear and all they make is white. So, you know, snow ladies, it's fine because they're white with snow. But I'm still looking for something. Uh, no E6000 does not work for me that great with glass and stuff. It still pops off my first memory jug I did with E6000 and I had to re-glue most of it. So, anyway, there we are.